Hey guys, it's your boy Jehuti here with another Tekken 7 Season 4 video. Um, normally I'll do a change vlog video for, for specific characters, but today, as of this video, patch 4.01 dropped on us. And yeah, it's more of a bug fix update than actual changes. And yeah, um, I just briefly want to go through it. If you just know that it's bug fixes and you don't want to see the specific moves and the specific characters, that's fine. Check out my other videos. I have change log videos for 20 plus characters. Maybe you'll find something over there since it's short and brief. And yeah, let's get into the changes then. First up is Kunimitsu. And so our first move is the one during Rage, or Rage Drive in specific. So during Rage Forward 2 plus 3, and what they've done here is fix an issue in which the damage upon hit differed from the intended damage under certain conditions. So yeah, bug fixes as I mentioned before. Her next move is um, a projectile attack. So uh, down, quarter circle forward, 1. And what's happened here is fix an issue in which the move would not shift to a true after hitting the opponent under certain conditions. So yeah, that just, that just means that sometimes when you throw it out and it would connect, it just wouldn't um, transition into the animation you see later on. I didn't know that that animation was actually it. So, so in addition, she has another move which ends with that kunai projectile, which is down three, four, one. And they've done the same thing here, so they've fixed exactly that same issue because it ends with the kunai. Now we have King, and King has had some fixes to his trolls where the enemy is in crouch. So first up we have um, when the enemy is in crouch, approach the enemy, down um, 1 plus 3. Fix an issue where the range of the attack was not as intended, so as I said, bug fixes. Could mean that um, he would grab from further away or maybe he will just whiff. I'm not sure which of it which of it is exactly. However, that's been fixed. And the same also goes for the next move, um, which is also during when the enemy is crouched down um, two plus four. Same thing. Fix the range on that. And then lastly, another um, crouch throw when the enemy is in crouch. The down forward, down forward. Um, 1 plus 3, you can see it at the top here, and the yeah, same thing has also been fixed over there. Now we have Katarina, and Katarina in Rage State, or Rage Drive in particular. So um, during Rage State and during Harrier 1 plus 2, and fix an issue in which the damage upon hit differs from the intended damage under certain conditions. So once again, we're just dealing with bug fixes here. So the last character is Miguel, and Miguel's one I think is a bit more significant here. And so the move which he has is down, back, three, forward. So the, the low kick which he transitions into Savage Stance. And what they've done here is fix an issue in which after being blocked, Miguel was unable to block an opponent's 13 frame move. So that means that if you throw this move out and the opponent blocked it, um, and the opponent would throw out a 13 frame move, he wouldn't have been able to block it. So yeah, that's been, that's been fixed. So yeah, that about does it, covers all of the changes. As previously mentioned, this is more of bug fixes than actual changes. Who knows, maybe there's some stealth changes in this, and we will find out about those later. Um, anyway, thanks for watching this video till to the end. Consider looking at my channel because um, there are different changelog videos for about 20 characters plus and more incoming. Of course, if you like what you saw, leave a like. If you didn't like what you see, leave a dislike. Um, like your feedback in the comments section. Consider subscribing, all that good stuff. And this is your boy Jehuti, and I'll see you on the next one.